Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery has come out and people who are huge fans of the Potter series and the Wizarding World are playing it, but it's not everything we hoped and dreamed. Disappointed! Um, <laughs> so this is, I thought about this because there's a lot of good parts of yeah, this, which are there's characters you recognize, there's yep. this world you recognize, but a little bit of a tiny amount of voice acting from yeah. the, uh, uh, well, Dumbledore uh, says like, right. uh, kindness is its own reward, right. and then he gives you a reward that's like money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't which know. Which is the issue here, is the real life money. is money, as can be expected, or some expected, it is a mobile game, and mobile games uh, are rife for a certain kind of trope, mm, which the is microtransactions. Microtransaction. Yeah. So you have a certain amount of energy, mm -hmm. and then when you run out of energy, you can't complete tasks, you can't move on in the game. Maybe you'll fail your uh, current task, and then you'll have to start over or be penalized or something. Yeah. And you have to pay money for that, or you have to wait for that, but there's a lot of timed activities. Yeah. So it's like, do it's a I bad wait? mix because a lot of people have been saying, and I agree with this. Like, either have one or the other. Either mm -hmm. pay for um, like energy to to kind of build up, or have the timed tasks uh, kind of be their own reward in a way, but not both combined. Because you get caught in situations, and you're like, well, I have to pay money, or my little guy's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I paid with the premium currency, mm -hmm. but I did get those currencies for free, which you can do. Right. Uh, by completing certain tasks. Speaking of being caught up in something, something yeah. people are talking about the most is early on in year one, mm -hmm. you might get trapped in a devil's snare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did and I ended up paying a dollar to get out of it because I, yeah. I didn't want him to die. And that's something that some people are, or I would say a lot of people are tweeting about. Yeah. I see I'm not the only person who have screenshotted Harry Potter, Hogwarts, Mysteries, pay up or continue to be <laughs> strangled moment. Yeah. It looks scary. It does, especially because, you know, the whole Harry Potter series, well, it has the appeal to adults. At its core, it's aimed at children. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, especially if kids are playing this on their mobile device uh, or their parents' mobile device, it's it's scary and also like it's easy for them to just tap and pay and and mm -hmm. you know it's preying on that. I saw a Penny Arcade comic about this, and it was uh -huh. just perfect because the little girl asks her dad, "Hey, can I have the new? Will you get me the new Hogwarts game?" And he goes, "Of course I would, honey, if it were a real game." But this is an insidious trick to get children to spend their parents' money. It's true, it's true. <laughs> and it's legal. Ugh, oh man, and it like it's tough because like I've heard the story is pretty good and it's essentially like a pay to play visual novel. This is a story that keeps asking you for money. Yes, yeah. And what I've learned is to not make it your priority, which makes you less invested in the story. Right. But like every now and then I'll go in and check or you know, and, and do something, but from now on, I'm not spending the premium gems. But I mean, if you think about it, all of the clothing options are terrible. So what would I spend them on? And I'm <laughs> always in the robes anyway. I want to be my in robes my robes. My robes are way better yeah. than all of the clothing options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were free. Right. And I can change my face and my name for free all the yeah. time. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> transfiguring is my way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> also, add more hair options. Like everybody with something that's colored hair, we all have silver. In I've the, noticed that. In the game. I have. I mean, it's close, so. I mean, it does look like someone dyed their hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, whatever. I, I don't hate the game. I do like the yeah. game, but it's it is annoying to constantly see this trap of microtransactions again and again. I've made it to year two. Right, um, nice. You do get another place to click on free energy. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> so you get that one, and you're like, oh, I'm doing something. Some of it makes no sense, though, because it's like the tasks you have to do are like rest, but you have to spend yep, energy on to it. To rest, yeah. And then you get more energy. You have to throw a stick for a dog to yep. get it. It's or poke a, a house elf. What gets me too is that like this is officially licensed product, but the music drives me crazy because it's just like the original soundtrack, but like a couple of notes off, like it's supposed to be royalty free. And it drives me crazy because I know this music so well. I want the real one. I want the real music. Of course you do. Anyway. We all want the real thing, but are we getting it? <laughs> what are your experiences in this game so far? If you're playing, please let us know on Facebook and Twitter.